It's ex. It's ex. Whatever, just roll the intro. Before we get to the install and the reveal of the exhaust system that I chose, we need to talk about exhaust in general. There's usually a couple of different ways that most people go. You either go to an exhaust shop and get something for a hundred bucks that sounds like a tin can, or you buy a very nice expensive bolt-on exhaust that you have to do yourself, which costs a lot of work and time, and you get really dirty. No, but seriously, if you go to a custom exhaust shop most of the time, you're gonna pay a couple hundred bucks, you're gonna get something that sounds all right, but you really have no control over what it actually is going to sound like and what type of performance you're gonna get. Usually they just take some piping that they've got in stock, they bend it to fit your particular car, and then you pick out a muffler that's either there at the shop or that you've seen online. But either way, you're not gonna get a chance to really understand what that sound is before you actually have it on your car and the job is done. And you may or may not like it. And that brings me to my first point, which is that not all exhausts are made the same. Not only is the piping different diameters, in which case you choose that, but the actual wall, the thickness of the pipe is different. And that gives you different sounds. It resonates differently. And then you've got whether or not you have a resonator or no resonator, and then what type of a muffler you have. So all of that contributes to the sound that comes out of the tailpipe. And you really don't know which sound you're gonna get if you go the custom route. Now it is a little bit cheaper most of the time unless you go to some crazy exhaust specialist, in which case you might end up spending thousands of dollars on an exhaust, which is not worth it in my opinion. Unless it's a show car, then of course go for it. But on regular cars like this RSX, you've got the inexpensive custom exhaust or the bolt-on exhaust, in which case I went with the NVIDIA Q300 bolt-on exhaust, which I had to put in myself and it was really easy. I chose this route because there were lots of videos on the internet that showed me exactly what this car was gonna sound like with this exhaust, and I didn't wanna take any chances. I wanted something that sounded good on the higher RPMs and was sorta of quiet on the lower RPMs. This is a car that we wanna be able to use without having this crazy drone that we hear all the time, every single moment we're driving it. But if I wanna get on the throttle and I wanna shift at 8200 RPMs, I wanna be able to hear the car. And so that's why I chose the NVIDIA Q300. It actually performs very, very well. And there were lots of good reviews on the internet with this specific car and this specific exhaust. Install was fairly easy. I definitely think you can do it yourself. You need the basics of tools. I mean, a socket wrench with a 14 and a 12, and then maybe a breaker bar of some sort. I used the handle of my jack in order to get enough leverage to break the bolts loose. That actually was the most difficult part of the install was just breaking loose the stock bolts. So I definitely think you can do this by yourself. It's not super difficult. It's literally four bolts to unbolt everything. The stock exhaust comes off in two pieces and the new exhaust goes on in three pieces. So you have six bolts to install the new one. And that's basically it. It just fits right in. It's very, very easy to mount. And with that said, let's get to the install.
All right, so the exhaust is installed and uh, we're ready to take it for a ride. So I've got mics on the outside of the car and I've got mics on the inside of the car. We should have some pretty good audio of both the outside and the inside to see how this thing sounds. Let's go. Oh, it's clean. It's nice and quiet, dude, it purrs. This is nice. This is actually really nice. I was expecting something uh, maybe a little bit louder, but I'm good with this. Let's see how it sounds when we get it uh, in the higher RPMs. suction cup mount for the uh, for the outside of the car for the GoPro so <laughs> I hope I don't lose my GoPro As soon as you go to neutral, super quiet, which is obviously the case with most exhausts, right? You go to neutral, you got nothing coming out of it, but this actually feels and sounds really nice. It just sounds good. You know it's modified, but it's like, I'll drive this car to work, you know what I mean? There's always someone in front. There's always someone in front of me. My seatbelt locked. Bro, the VTEC kicks in. There's a little thing that locks your seatbelt. <laughs> If you're if you're chilling driving to work and you don't want to hear this crazy bah the whole time, this is the one, dude. Absolutely great. All right, so what's the moral of the story? Well, for me, this NVIDIA exhaust is absolutely phenomenal. Like I said in the test drive, it sounds great at low RPMs and great at high RPMs. This is something that I really, really was looking for. Sort of that businessman's exhaust, you know, something you can just cruise on the highway and not hear a drone, but also you can hear it when you get super loud or super high in the RPMs. This exhaust was perfect. So for me, I prefer the bolt-on versus the custom exhaust from an exhaust shop. And I'm not talking about those high-end custom exhausts from those professionals, those elite exhaust shops, not those. I'm talking about the $200 to $300 exhaust. Not really my favorite. I would much rather go with this bolt-on exhaust. So anyway, that's it guys. And if anyone out there needs an RSX Type S exhaust, I've got one for sale. So leave me a comment or send me a DM. We can talk about how to get it to you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
whatever. <laughs>